All right, we're back here at uh, Orlando Speed World. We're going to see what all our parts did for the SRT. Uh, we got the uh, rear end all took care of. We got new tires. So uh, let's see what's going to happen. Hey guys, what's up? This is Lee, NSB Custom Cars. Let's give you a rundown on this video. Uh, we did take the Challenger back out to the track. Uh, got the Nitto R2s on the back. Got the de performance development uh, differential brace on the back. Only got to make two test hits. Uh, it's just one of them nights, you know. Uh, had a few incidents on the track. I had some good video of it too. Uh, had a four-cylinder turbo dragster rail uh grenade his engine which show you a little video of that right here <laughs> another car from what i hear the steering locked up in it or just pulled straight right don't know but he just going down the track fairly slow Luckily, it wasn't under full power. He got lucky on that one. Something happened. He aborted the run about, I don't know, 3.30 in. He just makes a right hand turn into the wall. Yeah. And now this first run, uh, not sure what happened. May have not put enough heat in the tires. Like I said, new to the drag radio game, not sure. Uh, I thought I did a pretty good burnout going back. Dean thought I might have been a little too far back in the water. Not sure, it looked like I got all the water off by looking at the the replay and everything, but uh, yeah, it just, like I said, and plus I, I, I had a lot of confidence in those R2s, so I let her have it. I, I did a pretty good launch there. I probably launched around 4,500 4, RPM, probably dumped the clutch and she just let go. <laughs> fairly slow to uh, 14 with a seven yeah at 106 this car loves 106 through the through the quarter mile I think I made five six runs and out of those five of them have been 106 miles an hour uh, not sure that's the sweet spot for that car no matter how the launch is whatever 106 <laughs> But the second pass, same thing. I did go a little harder on my burnout, kept a little bit longer, built up a little more heat, and that seemed to help a lot. And two, track may have been prepped a little bit better. Got up, staged, let her go, and she hooked pretty good. You could see a little bit of wheel hop in there, but for the most part, she spun over, she, she, she left. Still wasn't a great 60 foot time. Yeah, I'm still in the two second range, 60 foot. Uh, but that pass was a 13.35. Uh, did a little bit better on that one, 107 miles an hour. But <laughs> still right there. But yeah, uh, I was hoping to make a couple more passes. Normally we get usually about four runs in if we wanted, but it just wasn't happening that night. So we called it quits and brought her back. Into the shout out to the import guys. There's a couple bad imports there. I don't know how many RPMs them are turning. I don't know, 20,000 it seemed like. That one, she, I'll show a video of it. She stages that thing and you know, it sounds like she's wide open, but that thing just keeps raising, 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 raising. It's crazy how 
much they're getting out of those rotary engines and even the four cylinders and stuff. It's pretty amazing. I know I may talk a little crap about imports every once in a while, but hey, it is what it is. We all gotta, we all gotta give everybody a hard time every now and then. You know, it's all in fun. Don't take anything we say or anything like that seriously. But uh, we're just messing. <laughs> Yeah, well, we're going to end this video off. Be sure to like and subscribe to us. Uh, we did pass 100 subscribers. Appreciate you guys for that. We may think of something to, to do in the future, next video or two, try to think of something a little fun we can do. Uh, maybe give away a gift card, something. Uh, but like I said, be sure to like, subscribe. Till next time.